A wake up call that no car owner wants to get. That phone call was from police telling a man in Montgomery County that his car had been broken into and he wasn't alone. NBC Town's Brian Sheehan has the story from Cheltenham Township. The criminals weren't successful getting the car in this case, but Cheltenham police say at least one vehicle was stolen overnight. They believe both incidents are connected to a social media trend. We got a call last night and, you know, the police came to our door knocking like, is, do you own this Kia? So we found out it was broken in two. David Coe's 2022 Kia is also now undrivable. Cheltenham police officers patrolling his street in Elkins Park first made the discovery around one this morning. We came down and the first thing I see is the passenger side window all smashed in and the glass, you know, splattered everywhere. The steering column and ignition were ripped out, sending parts all over the place. Cheltenham police say it's all part of a dangerous trend circulating on TikTok, where thieves target certain makes and models of Kias and Hyundais. But whoever did this eventually realized there was no way they were getting away fast with this newer model Kia. To be out of a car, you know, like all of a sudden like that, it's it's really inconvenient. It's, it's really frustrating. And the most frustrating part of this situation for David and his family the club they typically use to deter criminals was in the car, but not secured on the steering wheel. We normally do put it on. Um, occasionally we do forget, like we're human, but um, but in most cases it's it's on the car, especially at night, because of to prevent things like this. And while this father of 12 is lucky his car can be fixed, he's still taken aback by the whole experience. It's such an invasion, also, which which I, I you know I I came down and it felt like. A part of me was invaded because this is, you know, this is our car. This is David recommends securing your car no matter where you live, especially if you have one. Thieves are known to target. As for the repairs, he does have insurance, but believes he'll have to pay out of pocket for some of it. In Cheltenham Township, I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News.